Hi, it's Elizabeth Sweetwater here with a new sewing tutorial video. In this video, I will explain step by step how to make the swing dress. The swing dress has a half circle skirt, a button top with a collar, puffy or regular sleeves and pockets. On the pattern, you will find two waist height options. This will have no influence on the sewing process. Both are the same. Enjoy making the swing dress. These are all the pieces that you need for your swing dress. Two skirt pieces, cut on fold. Two front pieces. The back piece cut on fold. The shoulder back yoke. Two pieces cut on fold, one goes on the inside. Two collar pieces also cut on fold. Four pocket pieces. Two sleeves. Two facing parts. A strip of fabric for the belt for measurements check our weebly tutorial a buckle some buttons loops some fusible interlining for the belt some stretch fusible interlining for the collar and facing Some stretch yarn and some regular yarn for buttonholes and hem. Indicate the area on the shoulder for gathering and mark the bust start with a water soluble marker. Pin and sew the bust starts and sew two lines along the edge. Pull both threads so that the fabric will gather. Do the same with the top of the sleeves if you want to make the puffy sleeve variation. And also the top of the back piece. All marking points are indicated on the pattern. Make sure the gathered part fits in between the marks on, of the shoulder back yoke. Pin and sew the back piece to the shoulder back yoke piece. And also pin and sew the front pieces to the shoulder back yoke piece. Finish the front shoulder seam with an overlock stitch. Leave the back yoke seam unfinished. Finish the edges of the facing parts with the interlining ironed on them with an overlock stitch. And finish the shoulder also with an overlock stitch. Pin and sew the facing parts to the shoulder back yoke facing. Pin and sew the collar pieces right sides together. Cut away the corners. Iron open the seams, turn and iron flat. Indicate the shoulder point in the neck. And indicate the mid front points in the neck. We'll now pin the collar around the neck. The side with the interlining goes against the neck. Start pinning the collar at mid front. Then the shoulder, then in between, and pin the rest of the neck. Once the collar is attached, place the facing with the woven label sewn on it optionally. right sides together on the top. Pin the front.
and then all around the neck. Sew the neck and front with the sewing machine. The facing is now attached. Cut away the corners, iron open the seams and turn. Iron the edges flat and top stitch them on 0.5 cm. Now it's time to sew the buttonholes. A great aid is a piece of water soluble foil like Avalon. You can just draw the buttonholes on it and then pin it to the front. Now we're going to connect the yoke facing to the seam. Indicate the middle of both yoke and back seam with a pin. Pinch with your thumb and index finger the seams together and turn inside out. Pin from the middle to the beginning of the seam. Then sew with the sewing machine and turn. Also repeat for the other half. Attach the facing to the armholes before inserting the sleeves. For the puffy sleeve, line up the gathered part to the points in the armhole. Pin and sew the gathered part first with the sewing machine. And then insert the sleeve with the overlock machine. For the regular sleeve, pin the shoulder point first. Then the front. And back point. These points are indicated on the pattern. You may notice that the sleeve head is slightly bigger than the armhole. Work this extra space into the armhole like so. Once the sleeve is pinned, you can attach it with the overlock machine. Now moving on to the skirt. Pin the pocket parts to the skirt and sew in between the indicated points. Cut a notch on either side of this seam. Iron open, turn and press. Top stitch the pocket opening on 0.5 cm from the edge. Or fold the pocket piece flat. Top stitch right on the edge of the pocket. When folded in, it's invisible. Place the other pocket part right sides together on the just sewn pocket part and pin all around.
and sew them together with the overlock machine. Pockets are attached, now the skirt can be sewn to the top. Indicate the middle of both skirt and top and pin them together. Sew the overlapping part with the sewing machine first to avoid shifting. Then pin and overlock both back and front waist seam. Sew some loops, fold widthwise, sew the seam, iron the seam open, cut short and turn. To make the belt, iron on the interfacing, fold widthwise, sew, iron open the seam, make sure the seam is in the middle, sew the pointy end and cut short. Turn the belt, iron flat and top stitch on 0.5 cm from the edge. Cut a notch in the back seam 1 cm from the edge, fold up, the rest of the seam goes down. The front seam also goes down. Attach the loops to the side seams. Sew first before overlocking. Side seams are closed, time to hem the dress. When using stretch yarn, fold in the hem 0.5 cm first and then hem 1.5 to 2 cm. If you use regular yarn, use a twin needle, cover lock or zigzag. The bottom hem can be easily finished by overlock, then pinned and sewn with a single stitch. To save on stretch yarn, you can use regular yarn. And finally, attach buttons, a buckle, and you're ready to swing. And just like that, you have made yourself a gorgeous swing dress. Hope you've enjoyed this video and will make many more. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you at our next video.